We now turn to the topic of life expectancy. Nationwide life expectancy rates have been dropping over the last three years. News 10's Jada Huddleston joins us now to explain more about why these numbers have been shrinking. Jada. Susie, the last time the U.S. saw a decrease in the life expectancy age was 100 years ago. Now that's when thousands of young people died in World War I from the Spanish flu. Today I spoke with a medical expert on what's causing people to live a shorter life. In 2017, there were 70,000 deaths from drug overdose in the U.S. Many people say there's an opioid epidemic in our country. That includes Dr. Randy Stevens. He works at Union Hospital in Terre Haute. He says part of the problem is overprescribing pain medication. What we didn't recognize is that we would help create a crisis with an opioid epidemic in this country. Some folks right here in the Wabash Valley also agree this has become a national problem. I think the drug abuse is a cultural phenomenon that's taken over in many communities. William says social media plays a big role. She says there also seems to be a sense of carelessness in younger generations. Dr. Stevens says monitoring the amount of prescription drugs given to patients will help reduce the amount of deaths from overdose. We will see a decreasing number of opiate overdose deaths. And if we see that, we know that we're probably now changing the culture again. And that is we're getting down to appropriate use of the medications. Now, Dr. Stevens says more people are dying annually from drug overdoses than cancer. Another 40,000 deaths from suicide were reported last year, and that's a 3.7% increase from the year before. The rise of deaths from these two causes has dropped the life expectancy rate to nearly 78 years. Now, coming up at 6, we'll take a closer look at the crackdown on prescribing prescription medications and what that means for doctors. Susie, back to you.